kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on mini quiz app using Firebase in Android Studio. All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to start working on our main activity dot Java file. Since in our previous video, we had done the binding of our views in inside our own create method. So now let's get started. So here, first of all, we need uh, a method called update question, and let's try to create the method. And inside our update question method okay so first of all here let's uh, create an in some variables in total equal to one int correct equal to zero and int wrong equal to zero all right so inside our update question method here we first of all we need to check if total is greater than four then open the result activity all right and inside our else part here we are now going to link our firebase okay so for that first of all let's create a global object database reference database reference and here we can say reference equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child will be this questions and then we can say dot child and here we can pass string dot value of and inside that we can pass total all right so it will point to what so when this update question uh, method will be called so the value of total will be one here you can see and there then we this uh, reference will points towards the one uh, first node okay then after that we will increment the value of total then the total or uh, i mean the reference will be pointing towards this two number all right and similarly up to four so after that here uh, reference so here we can say reference dot add value event listener new value event listener and inside here okay so why it it giving me an error okay so now here inside our own data change method okay so now we need a model class for this uh, question option one two three four and answer okay so we need a class so here we can first of all create a package named model and inside our model package let's create a java class and let's name it as question okay then inside that we can have some variables so for that first of all we have string question then we have option one option 2 option 3 and similarly option 4 and then we have answer okay so now let's create uh, the constructor so here we can generate the constructor and also the getter and setter methods all right and also let's create a, an empty constructor all right after you create the question class let's go back to our 
main activity and inside our own data change method we can say question question object equal to data snapshot dot get value and inside get value we can pass our class question dot class all right and now we can easily set the question and all the values to our buttons so for uh, for that we can say question okay so here we can say t1 slash questions dot set text and the text will be changed to question dot get question all right and similarly we can say b1 dot set text and here we can pass our option 1 so we can say question dot get option 1 similarly for b2 we can say question dot get option 2 similarly b3 dot get option 3 and for b4 we can say question dot get option 4 all right so now we can have uh, set the all the values inside our uh, activity main dot xml and now what we are going to do we are now going to check if the user clicks on button one so we will check if it is correct or not okay or all the buttons so for all the buttons here what we can do we can simply say b1 dot set on click listener new on click listener so now whenever the user will click on this button so here we can check if b1 dot get text dot to string dot equals so now if it if it is equal to question dot get answer okay so if the button answer uh, the option one is equal to the answer then what you could do what you can do okay so here we can say okay so for that first of all we can use the handler because we want uh, a one second delay because we want to display the red and green buttons to show the correct and the wrong one okay so that's why i am using this handler so here we can see handler dot post delayed new runnable and here we can pass 1500 all right and inside that what we are going to do okay so here we are going to increment the correct variable and then we are going to set b1 dot set background color and we can set the color to color dot green all right and then after that we can say okay first of all let's cut that and paste it here and after that here we can simply say b1 dot set background color and the background color will be color dot parse color and here we can pass 0 3 a 9 f 4 all right then in then in else part okay so if the answer is wrong so what to do answer is wrong so here we, we will find the correct answer 
and make it green all right so how can we do that so here inside our else part we can say okay so here we also need to update the question okay so the the question will be updated i mean another question will be uploaded so inside our else part we can say wrong plus plus because there is another uh, we have the wrong answer and then we can have b1 dot set text i oh sorry b1 dot set background color and the background color will be color dot red okay because it is wrong so now we can check if b2 dot get text dot to string dot equals question dot get answer okay so if the button 2 is correct so you what you have to do is you just need to say b2 dot set background color and the background color will be color dot green else if b3 dot get text dot to string dot equals question dot get answer then you can simply say b3 dot set background color and the color will be green green similarly if b4 is correct so we can say b4 dot set background color and we can say color dot green all right so here you can see b1 inside that we can check if b1 is equal to the answer question so we can say post delete this but inside our else part we can set b1 dot set background color red and here we can check if they are equal okay so after that we are going to use this again all right because uh, after we display the green and red button so now we need to replace all the colors okay so it will what it will do is it will just uh, replace all the colors and update the question okay so we will be pasting it in every uh, on click method all right so uh, this one was for the b1 button click and now here we can have button 2 b2 dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside that we will have all the same coding so i just copy that and i paste it in my b2 but here we will change the variable so here we can we need to change it to b2 then we will set the b2 to green then we also need to ch change it to b2 and here we will have b1 then we have b3 b4 all right similarly we will have another so we can say b3 dot set on click listener new on click listener and here we will also just paste all right but here instead of b1 let's say b3 then we have b3 similarly b3 and here we will change okay so now here we can say b1 
then we have b2 and b4 all right and finally we have b4 i hope you understand what i am doing so here we have b4 so now here we will check the first of all b1 else if b2 and then b3 all right guys so that was it so let's uh, try to run the app and okay so now so guys in my next part of the video we will i will show you the demo the demo of uh, what our app looks like until now okay guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye